Hi, I'm Danny, and today I will be showing you how to create and export custom pixel-sized images and videos in PowerPoint in super high resolution. I'm creating this more technical video because in order to successfully follow most of my tutorials, you will need to know how to do these two particular things to ensure a perfect final product. Before we begin, I have linked the three videos I personally use to learn how to create custom pixel-sized slides and save images from PowerPoint in a high resolution here and in the description box. I encourage you to watch them if you would like a more in-depth explanation of the technical information behind everything in this tutorial. You're going to start by changing the PowerPoint settings on your computer to save all images and videos in the super high resolution of 300 dpi or dots per image. Unfortunately, this part of the tutorial only applies to PC users, but the next part of this tutorial can be done on a Mac. I have included the timestamp for the second part of this video here, so feel free to skip ahead. Please make sure to follow these steps exactly to avoid creating serious problems. First, close all Microsoft Office software you may have open, such as PowerPoint, Word, etc. Next, type Reg Edit into the Windows search bar and click on the software to open it. Then open a series of folders in this exact order. First, H key underscore current underscore user folder, then the software folder, the Microsoft folder, then the Office folder. The next folder you open is based on your version of PowerPoint. I have PowerPoint 2016, so I will click on the 16.0 folder. The folders for the other versions of PowerPoint are listed here, so be sure to open the correct folder. Finally, open the PowerPoint folder and click on Options. The next step is to click on Edit, New, D Word 32 bit value, then type Export Bitmap Resolution into the text box. Hit Enter. Double click on the file to open it. Under base, click decimal and under value data, enter the number 300. Click OK. That's it. Now all the images and videos exported from PowerPoint will be in high resolution. I will include a clip showing the quality of content to expect at the end of this video. There are two ways to create custom pixel sized slides in PowerPoint. The first method is very simple, but only works if you have the 2013 or newer version of PowerPoint. Open PowerPoint. Click on Design, Slide Size, Custom Slide Size, and enter the pixel size you want, followed by the abbreviation for pixels, which is PX. Although the slides are measured in inches, PowerPoint automatically converts your input based on the DPI or dots per image of your computer screen. It's that easy. The second method is only necessary if you have a version of PowerPoint older than 2013. You'll need to use a converter that has been created by Guido's How To here on YouTube to find the slide size you need in inches or centimeters. The converter is in the form of an Excel file, which is linked in the description box. The converter is very easy to use. Simply enter the DPI of your computer provided by the given website, Enter the width and height of your desired resolution and hit enter. You would then input the measurements into PowerPoint under custom slide size, just as I did for the first method. As you can see, the converter gave me the same dimensions automatically provided by PowerPoint. Lastly, to demonstrate how these two topics work together, I will insert a thumbnail design on the newly resized slide. Click File save as, and choose the image file you want to save your design as. I'm choosing a PNG file. Click save and open the file. Upon zooming in, you can see how clear the image is. Then click on see more and file info. Clearly the dimensions of the image are much larger than the 1920 by 1080 pixels dimension entered into PowerPoint. This is because the settings of PowerPoint have been changed to export in 300 dpi, allowing a high resolution final product. So although the exported dimensions of your content, which includes videos, will be larger than expected, the image is still in the correct aspect ratio. If you would like to see the instructions on changing your PowerPoint export resolution settings written out, 
I have linked the Microsoft support article below. It also includes information on what to input if you would like to change your settings to a DPI lower than 300. Thanks for watching. I've included a lot more information in the description box, so be sure to check that out. Please give this video a thumbs up to let me know it was helpful. Comment any suggestions you may have for future tutorials. I love a challenge. And let me know if you have any questions. I'll make sure to respond. I'm the PowerPoint Queen and I will see you next week with a new video. In the meantime, you can watch my last videos and subscribe for more great tutorials. Bye!